so now we are going to implement the VTP in this topology so we can see we have three departments that means three VLAN over here HR finance and the marketing and we have marked with some color about these VLANs so we can see we have uh, in each building building A building B building C we have two departments in each building right so currently and what is configured in this topology uh, we have configured the VLANs these three VLANs in these three in these all these switches and uh, they are using this subnet all the PCs are connected with this range 10.1.1.0 slash 24 and this VLAN can reach to the this VLAN okay we do not have any inter VLAN allowed over here these links between these switches are configured with the trunk mode okay so this is current existing configuration we have in the switch now going back to a slide okay so these are the configuration commands we have so we can we will configure these commands only for version 1 and version 2 we cannot do the lab for the version 3 uh, this has to be done on the nexus right so you can see uh, there are nothing like uh, difficult in that it's just that it is very similar we need to create the domain as we are doing in the version 1 and the version 2 and the we have to configure with the version 3 right so we have to specify that and then we need to make that server thus you know the 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 switch which is configured with the server mode has to be in the primary server so now we need to apply this command for the version 3 vtp primary and the vtp password so this is a basic configuration about the version 3 but we are going to see what's going to happen when we configure version 1 and the version 2 how this works and other things and we, we can also try the vtp pruning here but let's just first try creating with the VTP server. So there are three commands VTP mode server, then the domain and then the password. Let's do that. <clears throat> So among all these three switches, I am going to make building a switch in the server mode, right? Config T, VTP domain and let's put this VTP lab, right? now it has been changed from null to the vtp lab now let's configure in a server mode device is already in server mode by default it is always in a server mode we need to make the changes in the other two switches because by default they are also in server mode we will make them as a client mode right now vtp password it is keep a simple password so this password has to be same when we are doing to make changes for our client mode let's see what the other options we have with vtp so we can set version version 1 and the 2 works in the similar way so we will use by default Right. rest we are good show VTP status okay so by default it is version 2 configuration revision number is 12 so we have made the changes about the VLAN almost 12 times or received update from the other as well so it is 12 now maximum supported VLANs locally 255 and number of existing VLAN so on this switch we have number of existing VLAN is 7 it is in a server mode 
we can see the VTP domain name. It is a VTP lab. Pruning is disabled. Version 2 mode disabled. Trap disabled. Okay, we are good. We have configured this with this. Show VLAN. Let's see how many VLANs we have. We have one default VLAN, HR VLAN, marketing VLAN, and these are the by default VLAN. So in total, these are seven VLANs we have on the switch, right? Now let's configure other switches in the client mode. Enable config T VTP domain this VTP lab okay those server mode it already replicated this now let's see the change it to the client mode VTP mode client it is set up in the client mode now let's see if we can take the password okay now configure the password with the client mode VTP lab all right so these three commands we have done for the client. Now let's verify it. VTP status. It is in client mode, configuration value 12. So they have uh, similar values. Maximum uh, VLAN existing VLAN is 7 and client mode. So it is good. Show VLAN. Okay. Let's also configure this in a client mode. VTP domain. Let's first check two things. Show VTP status. 12 existing VLAN 7. It is in server mode. Domain is already replicated here. VTP lab. Now, geez, now we just need to put in a client mode and password client mode password setting up to the password show vtp status it is in client mode now show vtp password so the VTP password is a password so we can we can find out the password for the VTP by applying this command now we what we have done we have configured show if you notice that earlier earlier these switches were having finance VLAN and the marketing VLAN this switch was having the marketing VLAN and the HR VLAN. Now, all these three switches are having the VLAN which we have in the building A switch. So, we, we, we can see it's just a two VLAN, HR VLAN and the finance VLAN in, in all these two switches as well. Now, let's modify something. Let's, let me show you once again for the switch C. Show VLAN. We can see only two VLAN, VLAN 10 and the 30. Okay. Now let's create one more VLAN here. Config T VLAN 50 name test. Let's check it. Show VTP status configuration revision number is changed because we have made changes in the VLAN earlier it was 12 now it is 14 existing VLAN made to, now it's showing us to 8 so that means one is increased let's see in the other switches that if we have 
VLAN 50 as a test runner. Show VLAN. Yep, it is here. We can see the test VLAN 50. All right, show VDP status. Configuration revision number is changed to the 14. Yes, and we can see the eight VLANs. Good. Now check into this. Show VLAN. Yep, VLAN 50 is present here. Show VDP status revision number 14 and number of VLANs 8. Yeah, good. All right. So we understood if we make any changes in the server VLAN will be replicated to all the client modes. Let's try to create VLAN here, right? VLAN, I suppose 80. VTP VLAN configuration not allowed when the device is in client mode. So we can see the warning from the switch itself not allowing us to create any VLAN in the client mode. Good. Now, I cannot make any changes in this in the client mode, but I want to make any changes and I don't want to affect anyone. So I am going to make change and making it into a transparent mode. Let's do that. Config T. VTP mode. Transparent. Okay, let's check. Okay. Am I and can I able to create the VLAN now? VLAN 80. Yep, I'm able to go to the next test one. All right, show VLAN. Okay, we can see the VLAN 80 over here on the building C. So this is in a transparent mode, is in a client mode, and this is in a server mode. Let's see if uh, we can see something here about the VLAN 80. No, transparent mode has not forwarded anything about the VLAN, its own database. Now let's check VTP status. Yeah, everything is same. Okay, no one is informed about the changes made in the transparent VLAN. Let's also check here, show VLAN. Any change in server mode? No, all right. Show VTP status, no changes, all right. Let's run the last command in the building C. Switch, show VTP status. Hmm. One thing to be noticed, now configuration revision number is zero, right? because it does not bother to transfer to to forward any message to be uh, to bother about any changes made in the near uh, to the peer switches or not because i am creating my own database i don't bother about the other database even i don't give a damn that i forward my vlan database to the other so that's why the configuration division number is zero in case of transport mode all right so now we understood how the VTP works in terms of server mode, in terms of client mode, in terms of transparent mode, right? All right. All right, let's understand the VTP pruning. So currently, if we compare these two switches, we can see there is a common department here which is a finance department. So uh, we have one PC over here and two PC over here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this PC. So that means we don't have anything connected in this VLAN. Now I, sh I don't want to receive the information being sent on VLAN 20, which is a finance VLAN, right? So I will configure the VTP pruning on the this trunk port 
F A O slash four on the switch A. Let's do that. You can see the interface is down because I have removed the PC. Config T interface fast Ethernet zero slash four. This is a trunk port. This is a link connecting both the switches. I am going to make the switch, uh, make the changes in the switch where I don't want to receive any packet from finance, finance VLAN, right? Config T switch port trunk and pruning. This headache is the pruning is not allowed. Oh, okay. All right. That means Cisco Packet Tracer is not supporting the feature of pruning in the interface. Mm. That's why we cannot test this feature as well. All right. So guys, we understood how the VTP works, all these three modes of the VTP. We know the command to see, to enable the VTP pruning. So switch port trunk pruning, and then we can uh, use the VLANs that we don't want to receive any traffic on that particular switch. So we can use this command for that. VTP version three, we cannot test, but these are the commands you can note down and test on your own. Right, and these we have we have already done this lab. We have verified these commands show VLAN show uh, the supports in the NX OS. We have verified this. We, we let's try these two commands as well show VTP devices and show VTP counter. Right, Show VTP devices. All right, does not support in this. Show VTP counter supports. So you can see in the show VTP counters, it gives stats about the VTP that the VTP summary advertisement received packet 10, subset advertisement received packet 6, advertisement request packet 3. How many we have received these three message? How many we have transmitted this message? okay and that means it gives information about these three masses exchange we are doing between the switches so it gives information about those vdp show vdp counters so i think we are good with this so we have completed our vtp we have done our lab we have seen the configuration commands we have seen how to verify the configuration and it's all good okay so thank you guys if you have any questions please put that in the comment and uh, if you need anything like uh, if you need this slide from me so please uh, uh, you you know post your email id in the comment section so i'll try to provide you that right thank you guys have a good day